cereal mascots. Just, what is it about them? I always found them so silly, but yet still so inviting. I mean, there's all kinds of favorites, like... Like, uh, Toucan Sam, Cap'n Crunch, uh, the, the Cocoa Bird, and Busby, and even Tony the Tiger. The Trix Rabbit, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, and even that... And that Sugar Bear from... Um, I think... Golden Grams? And I think if we didn't have these mascots, every single cereal would just, well, to kids, and and pretty much everyone, really, would look and sometimes even really just seem like you're eating nothing but oat bran. Whoopity-don't? I don't know. But I thought that I'd count down my personal favorite top seven cereal mascots here today. Why did this take so long? I have a skin infection on my finger, and I've been working. And i just kind of been a little out of it, to be honest. But, let's go ahead and continue the month of August. Um, next will be the other All Grown Up review, so that way I can finish this month's theme. And then get back to my regular top seven films list. Yeah. By the way... These are September posters. That is my newest one. Um, I did this early be because, well, fuck it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. These are my personal top seven favorite cereal mascots. Number seven. The Crazy Squares from Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What is it about these cute little CGI animated crazy squares from one of the greatest and very, very tasty and tangy and cinnamony cereal of all time? Like, why do we keep craving them so much? I think it's because of the crazy cinnamon taste or just the silly aspect of these characters being the mascot. Literally, the food is the mascot. And... This is one of the only cereal mascots that I've actually ever seen in my entire life that, in which the mascot is literally the fucking cereal that you're eating. So, I honestly have to praise the animation. I don't personally know who, I, I honestly don't know who in the world did the animation, but I do know that it started out as CGI, and then afterwards, I think it went to stop motion. Either way, it looks like the animation now, today, it looks like the same animation that Micros Image is doing for Sponge on the Run. Which looks like a really, really, really bad stop motion movie. Yeah. Other than that, I think that these little dudes are craving, like, we can't get enough of them just because of just how silly that they are and just... How funny just to see them, at first they just start licking each other in, in a playful way, then it ends with at least one of them, hell, sometimes usually just one surviving, because that one that survives is usually the one that eats them all. Oh, and by the way, nice Jaws reference, by the way. Anywho, I think that the Crazy Squares from Cinema, Cinnamon Toast Crunch are one hell of a craving cereal mascot. Ziz. Number six, the Trix Rabbit from, well, Trix. Now, this rabbit kind of reminds me of Bugs Bunny, except in a very much more kid-friendly kind of way. The Trix Rabbit, all that he wants is a bowl of Trix cereal. And his schemes are so clever. He actually did, I'm not kidding, he actually got Bugs Bunny to help him out at one point, even though that the plan still backfired. And the Trix Rabbit has been reanimated... Well, today he looks like this. Yeah, but did you guys know that originally the Trix Rabbit actually looked like this? Yeah, that's actually very clever. Having him look like a generic rabbit before having him be, well, a little more cartoony these days. And just, I think that they kept this mascot going just because of how silly, how... Bugs Bunny-ish, 
that he was, and just how spazzy that he was to get his trick cereal. He, he's, he's always like, I want my trick cereal, and I'm going to create another conniving plan. I can't really do the voice that well, so screw it. But I really love how Trix is a fruit-based cereal. Like, every single piece of it has a distinct taste to it. Like, um, green would be lime, purple, grape, uh, orange, orange. Red would be strawberry, hell, even sometimes banana, I guess. But I, I do have to say that the Trix Rabbit is one trickster for this cereal brand. Number five, Toucan Sam from Fruit Loops. Now, Toucan Sam has a little bit of a laid-back, but still adventurous and courageous attitude. I mean, back in the day, he would be animated like this, in a two-dimensional style, and then like this, with a little bit more of a shine on his beak, and originally, he looked like this. And, yes, even this. But... Do you honestly want to know what he looks like now? Yeah, he looks like that. I'm not kidding. And it's not terrible, but I honestly don't know why they changed it, because I, I really like some of the commercials. Like, for an example, he would go on adventures with his three nephews. So, kind of a DuckTales reference there. Honestly, I really like the aspect of Fruit Loops being one fruity and um, just all around great cereal. Even if we have a toucan who is someone who, um, someone to can make a cereal really worth eating. You see what I... Did with the pun there. I, I tried making a good pun for this one. Next, number four, Sunny from Cocoa Puffs. Now, this bird is absolutely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, hence the tagline. But believe it or not, Sunny is honestly just a really spazzy, crazy character, and you just can't help but just love it whenever he's on screen because. The idea of having a chocolate-flavored cereal and this bird being the face of it, it's just quick thinking. Or, like, it's Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs thinking. I don't know, I forgot what pun that I was going to use halfway through my sentence. But honestly, I... I think that the dynamic and the color scheme for this character is top-notch. I mean, look at his eyes, for fuck's sake. They haunt your nightmares. Anyway, I I really love um, this bird's voice. I don't know who did the voice, but he's actually really good. Like, he sounds almost like Mickey Mouse, except, well, sort of tricks Rabbit, um meets Mickey Mouse, that kind of voice. But this is definitely one mascot that will make you cuckoo for a cereal that is, well, it may seem unhealthy, but it actually is. Next. Number three. Lucky the Leprechaun from Lucky Charms. Now, Lucky is one very lucky mascot to be on a list like this. Because, well, let's face it, he loves his charms, and basically it's kind of the opposite of Trix. While the Trix Rabbit is trying to get the Trix cereal that the kids keep saying, Silly Rabbit Tricks are for kids, can't forget that tagline by the way. This character is kind of the opposite. He's trying to keep his charms, like keep his cereal, away from the kids. Kind of an opposite kind of thing there. And to be honest, well, he has this really silly charm. 
kind of, and, and I do mean kind of, kind of like the evil leprechaun from the leprechaun movies. Except he doesn't kill people. He's just trying to keep his gold from people, and whenever it's stolen from him, he goes and tries to get it back. I want me lucky charms! In this case, it's, well, in his case, it's gold. But for lucky, it's, uh, cereal. And we should be lucky that we have Lucky as a mascot for one of the luckiest cereals of, of all time, really. Number two. The Honey Nut Cheerios Bee. I love this mascot. I just can't get enough of, of Honey Nut Cheerios because it helps to lower cholesterol, it's good for your heart, and it's literally Cheerios for kids! But I think that the mascot was the children's aspect of the cereal. I mean, come on, let's face it, he was animated like Sonic the Hedgehog. Except his animation is worse than Sonic the Hedgehog. That was a good movie. Can't wait for the sequel. But do you honestly want to know how that this character got his name? Now, it turns out, back in the year 2000, there was a contest being held for who could name this mascot. And one of the kids actually won. Yeah, a child actually put in an entry for, get this, Buzz B. Buzz the B. That's this mascot's name. In case you didn't know that, it's it's so clever because bees, well, make a buzz noise whenever they're flying around. And, well, I just love how charming and... Oh, wait, that was another joke for the Lucky Charms mascot. He's a charming but still lucky mascot. This is... Well, a mascot that I would always buzz down to the store to grab a box of his cereal. I'm working on puns here. But before we get to number one, I want to just give two honorable mentions. Now, these are mascots that I didn't get into, but they're cereal, kind of. Honorable mention number one is The Boys as I call them, Snap, Crackle, and Pop from Rice Krispies, because that's what the cereal does. It makes a snap, crackle, and a pop sound. Now, Rice Krispies is one of the most delicious cereals that I've ever tasted, but I didn't really get into these mascots that much, simply because, well, they were before my time, literally. But their cereals are still around today, but not all variations of them are. Now, for one thing, they even got redesigned to actually look like little elves. They look like Hebler elves, except just a little bit more disturbing. They, they look like three out of the seven dwarves, except in a more fucked up and really creepy looking style. And also, one of their variations was Rice Krispies Treats cereal. Oh, there's a good idea. And it's no surprise that they would also do other variations, like Frosted Krispies. And Strawberry Krispies. And Cocoa Krispies. Kind of like Cocoa Pebbles, which is literally just a cheap knockoff. Really, guys? And of course, they had a cereal just simply called Rice Krispies Treats. Are you fucking high? Yeah, you can honestly tell I didn't get into these characters that much. But, if you want to know, they looked even creepier. Yeah, that was their original design. And it does not help. At all. Like, not at all. Now, the second honorable mention is... I'm probably going to get a little bit of flag for this one. Now, I didn't grow up with this mascot either, but I want you guys to know I don't hate the mascot. I just didn't get into him, and I didn't really like the cereal too much. Because it's cookies for breakfast. I'm, of course, talking about Chip the Wolf from Cookie Crisp. I, let me be very clear. I don't hate the mascot. I don't hate the cereal. I just didn't get into it as much. Now, 
What can be said about this mascot that I dislike? Well, it's because of that stupid catchphrase. He howls cookie crisp. That's not clever. Now, he's a wolf, but he kind of looks like a dog. Seriously, I mean, just look at the ears and look at his paws. His nose obviously throws you off. I mean, he has a purple nose. He should literally be one of my favorite mascots because of that. But he's not. And it's kind of obvious here. I mean, come on. For God's sakes, this cereal has a hundred calories. Come on, guys. We all have limits. And for me, this is a limit that I'm not even going to attempt to reach. Sorry, but I just can't bring myself to like this mascot or the cereal too much. But again, it's not all completely shit. Alright. So, what is my number one favorite cereal mascot? Well... Here it is, my number one pick, the number one best cereal mascot of all time is, to me, this also ties into my favorite animal, Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes. Let me be very clear, Tony the Tiger has such a very kick-ass can-do attitude that you just gotta love, man. You just gotta love it. And if you don't, why don't you? Like, who would not love a, a mascot like that? I mean, he has such a can-do attitude. In the original commercials, a kid would get picked on, and then Tony the Tiger would come by, and um, he would help the kid out to achieve whatever kind of goal that he was trying to achieve. And in the end, the kid would succeed. And of course, who can forget that catchphrase, they're great. Come on, that's just clever writing. Something that you should learn, Chip the Wolf. Uh, give me a second, I'm getting a call here. Oh, but seriously, I have to honestly admit this before I take off. Tony the Tiger is the most achievable and courageous serial mascot of all time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next review. It will be sooner.